everybody and welcome back to my channel today hillbilly in the philippines how's everybody doing working on a little project here for mama i'm gonna make her a uh clothes rack to uh, hang her clothes on out here on the porch to dry a little project today there um uh, Got a few other little projects going on on the farm today. Uh, let me walk out through here. All the sweet corn looks like it's uh, growing pretty good. We're harvesting uh, some buco, which is some coconuts, some young coconuts. We got a uh, her friends is having a birthday party for their daughter, and they want to have some uh, young buco to make a few dishes out of for her birthday party. So we are going to harvest some buco today. And if you've never seen this done, uh, these guys climb these trees, coconut trees. No ropes, no straps, no nothing. Some of them trees is pretty tall. If you fall out of one of them, you'll probably die. So, you see him up there in it? He's uh, knocking them down. I would say that tree is at least 40 feet tall. How many pieces of young buco was they needing, Mama? 25. 25? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get hit in the head by one of them. It wouldn't feel too good. That's how they do that here. No ropes, no safety belts, just climb right on up it and break them out. <laughs> Maybe when I was a young man and I wasn't so fat, I might be able to try that, but <laughs> hard to put 300 pound up in a little coconut tree. But we have another surprise for the farm today. Let me go show you guys the newest addition to our farm. Uh, we got a bunch of volunteer corn coming up here. I'm going to have to get that tilled under. I don't want it to cross pollinate my other corn. My corn I brought from America. I'm going to get out here today and rotivate this field again turn all that under hello no piggies we got 10 more head of large white pigs um, got them there yesterday and they're little old big guys got two of them in here that one the one beside it in the back from a different litter and they're a little bit bigger they've probably got about i'd say about three weeks on on these other ones but uh 
the uh, pig population keeps on growing. That puts us at 17 head. Our piggery operation is a looking good. Some of these will be fatteners. All the males will be fatteners because they've been castrated. Some of the females, if they have a good body structure and a good temperament, make good mamas. We'll probably just keep them for breed stock because there's a couple in our original breed stock up here that we bought. The six that I'm not sure if I want to keep and breed her or not. Um, a little brown one for sure. A brown and white one for sure. This uh, little gilt here. She's a little skinny, but she's long. She's got a real long body to her and solid white. I'll definitely keep her. How about you? Are you going to be a keeper? Are you going to be, be a keeper? Yeah, you a good girl. Mm hmm. How about you, brown pig? Good piggy. Papa Pig's still over here. He's on pen. He's getting a little bigger, putting on some weight finally. Uh, he uh, had worms pretty bad. We give him about three doses of wormer and and we give him the scours. So, I've always heard that if you give them a wormer and they get the diarrhea, then they had worms pretty bad. So he's finally getting over the scours. And you can tell he's putting on a little bit of a little bit of mass, a little bit of weight. Bella, what are you doing? Are you being noisy? She is in heat, so we had to take her off of her run line and put her in one of these pig pens and shut the door up on her at night. But um, she's in heat, and I really don't want her to get pregnant. <laughs> but uh, that's just a little update on the farm today. Uh, some things are going on, busy day. Uh, they're supposed to come and deliver the uh, track loader bucket i mean the tractor loader bucket today so hopefully we'll get it and if we do they install it today uh, we will get it on the dirt and put it to work and start on maybe our tilapia pond doing a little bit but uh we'll catch you guys here later